Eight-month-old Ellie arrived at Rotonda Clinic in a rural part of Rwanda in East Africa with heavy breathing, a fever and unable to eat. He had pneumonia. According to a new UNICEF report, pneumonia and diarrhoea kill more than a million African children a year, a number that could be greatly reduced if the poorest children had access to vaccines and better treatment and care of these preventable diseases. Ellie is lucky. After 24 hours at the clinic, on a drip, along with the course of antibiotics, he is on the road to recovery. Fortunately, a case such as Ellie's is quite rare, but this was not always so. Before 2006, there were a lot of people who died from pneumonia, but since 2009, I have not seen one death due to pneumonia. I mean, before we used to have a lot of cases even in this room. We used to have about two people per bed. We used to see a lot of deaths, a lot of illness. But really, since 2009, I haven't seen anything. In 2009, Rwanda became one of the first countries in sub-Saharan Africa to introduce the pneumonococcal vaccine to protect children against diseases like pneumonia, meningitis and sepsis. Now it's rolling out a rotavirus vaccine, which will protect children against severe diarrhoea. Six-week-old Christian Damore is the first infant in this district to receive the new vaccine. In the past 20 years, Rwanda has built a formidable primary health care system that has reduced under five mortality by almost half. The introduction of new vaccines against pneumonia and diarrhoea the emphasis on strengthening the whole health system, but also working absolutely intimately at the local level through the community health worker networks and the district hospitals and the Umudugurus has been a magic recipe for child survival. Every month, a network of village health workers come to the clinic to learn new ways to identify sickness and refresh their skills. Today, 34-year-old Monique Lamberna, a mother of two girls, has come to restock her supplies of basic medicines. She was elected six years ago by her village to serve as a community health worker. She's available 24 hours to help her neighbours when they're sick. To financially support the time and commitment community health workers make, they form cooperatives, which, supported by government, allow them to earn a little extra. At the beginning, it wasn't easy, as I was in and out of my house, so my husband wasn't happy with me. But now he's happy with my job and considers me a woman of the community. Monique has heard Moise is sick with diarrhoea and has come to check in on him and make sure he's getting better. She carefully mixes a packet of oral rehydration salts and explains to his mother how to prepare it. In addition, she gives him zinc tablets. The combination has proven to help children quickly recover. Rwanda's 60,000 community health workers, well trained and equipped, have helped to make sure that even those in the remotest villages know how to protect their children against largely treatable and preventable diseases. We are happy because the community health worker is close to us and can follow up on a daily basis to check on the health of our children. The country has proven that with the right ingredients focused on reaching the poorest, more of its children can grow up healthy and live well beyond their fifth birthday. This is Shant the Bloomin reporting for UNICEF Television.